elements of Dubois Triangle, Eureka Valley, and the Castro feel that historic buildings are an important part of our neighborhood's character. So what would you do as a supervisor to ensure that our historic resources have greater protection? And Bill, we'll let you start off with this one. Um, I, I, re I think it's critical to our neighborhoods as well to keep these historic places intact, uh, up to date, and, 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 and functioning. Uh, I would do everything possible to make sure we do not lose the charm and character of our neighborhoods. I think it's part of the reason we drive tourism here. I think it's part of the reason we all live in this neighborhood. So it would be extremely, extremely important to me to, to keep that character of, of the neighborhood. So anything possible, really. Wonderful. Rebecca, feel free. Originally, the LGBT center was supposed to be completely modern. There was supposed to be no Victorian facade. Uh, the preservationists uh, decided to fight that, and they ended up coming up with a compromise so that the Victorian and the modern were able to come together and make the LGBT center what it is. That's how I see preservation. You've got to be able to work with both sides of an issue, bring people together, come to some sort of consensus, and then make it happen, and it's got to be on a case-by-case -case basis. Preservation is also important. Okay. Um, you know, I, the, one of the most important things the local government deals with is land use, and historic preservation is a pretty critical part of that. I think in neighborhoods around District 8 in the city right now, some areas are looking for uh, historical resource surveys to identify the historic resources that exist in the neighborhood. I think one thing that a supervisor can do is be an advocate for those surveys, get them done, completed, and figure out a way to incorporate them into the planning and, and development process. It's, it, you cannot simultaneously promote historic preservation and be unwilling um, to affect what's being developed. And Scott. Um, so I supported Prop J, which created the Historic Preservation Commission, because I think it is important to have a strong voice for preservation uh, in San Francisco. Um, we also need to keep in mind that San, we're not sort of uh, freezing the city in time and that changes do happen and so we have to be very meticulous when we're establishing historic <coughs> preservation districts about what are the properties that are part of that, what's not, and make sure that property owners know ahead of time what they're going to be able to do or not do with their property and no one's being surprised. All right.